really important not to think about the tar sands as just another resource development project. It is a huge, it is the largest capital intensive project in the world of its kind right now and resource project in the world right now. And, but more than that, it has occupied itself in the center of our own economy. And that's one of the arguments I try to make is for us to understand the extent to which the tar sands is not just something out there, it is moved into the very center of our economy. And as a result, it's shaping the direction and the destiny of ourselves as a nation and as a people. And that's why it is so important not to treat this as a, just an Alberta issue, which has been the case up to this time to a large extent. It's important to understand it, that it is, has n profound national implications for ourselves as a country. It has significant, if not profound, implications for uh, our relationships with the United States. And it has significant and profound implications uh, for, for ourselves internationally. And it's, I think, really important that we understand that and grapple with that. Anybody that looks at the tar sands and sees the destruction that's been done to the boreal forests and to the, to the wetlands and the natural habitat, add to this the, uh, uh, the greenhouse gas emissions and carbon emissions, which are on a trajectory up and up and up and up and will make Canada a very big uh, global, global warming machine in the world. And the third, uh, the third implication has to do, of course, with the, uh, uh, with the, the amount of water that is used uh, to, for the production of, uh, of the oil from the tar sands. Three to five barrels of water for every barrel of oil that comes out of the tar sands. And we're talking about one of the most fragile water and ecosystems and fresh water systems in the entire world and in the entire planet sitting up there in that part of uh, northern Alberta and the Mackenzie Delta.